Ricky Bennett arrived home to find three-year-old Kylie sobbing that Mommy and Chance were drowning. Bennett raced next door to discover his wife and five-year-old son dead in the neighbor's pool. Bennett v. Stanley is the account of Bennett's lawsuit against his neighbors, which considered the duty a property owner owes to a child trespasser. Two years before this accident, Jeffrey and Stacy Stanley had bought a house with a long, unused swimming pool. The Stanleys drained the pool and removed some of the fencing that surrounded it. They left the pool uncovered. It gradually filled with rainwater that, over time, formed a deep, natural pond, full of snakes, frogs, and algae. The pool had no ladders. Its sides were slimy. The Stanleys didn't post any warning or no trespassing signs to keep people away. Ricky and Cher Bennett and their three young children moved into the house next door to the Stanleys. The two houses were separated by a fence with an eight-foot gap. The Stanleys observed that the children regularly played outside unsupervised, but never worried that the kids would get into the pool. Unfortunately, one day five-year-old Chance did go to the pool to look for frogs. He fell in. His mother tried to save him but fell in herself. Both of them drowned. Bennett sued the Stanleys for wrongful death and personal injury. He alleged that they'd created a dangerous condition by negligently maintaining the pool and that the pool created an unreasonable risk of harm to children. The trial court found that Chance and Cher were trespassers and the Stanleys therefore owed them only a duty to refrain from wanton and willful misconduct. It granted the Stanleys summary judgment. The Court of Appeals affirmed. Bennett appealed to the Ohio Supreme Court. 